ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Update. It is 2019, Danny. We are time traveling right into the future here. Um, <laughs> finally, 2019. And big news! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and we've got some big news uh, for everyone. Uh, some We want to wrap up some stories from 2018 right here. Yes, tonight. yes. Um, and one of the big stories of 2018 was indeed the removal of Firehawk. There yes. was a lot of speculation uh, if it was going to Dorney Park, if it was going to go somewhere else. Um, you know, a lot it's of people... going to become Kentucky to... Flyer in a few months. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a lot of speculation as to how... Uh, Firehawk could be saved, but uh, officially we now have pictures uh, from the deconstruction company, um, and they clearly show that Firehawk is going nowhere because they are tearing that thing apart, Danny. Yeah, it looks pretty uh, haphazard. Not much organization to it. Looks like they're just cutting it up in sections. Looks like they're cutting up the supports, cutting up the track. Um, they don't seem to be wasting too much time now that the season is officially over and uh, the parks are closed. Um, so it, it seems like they were just kind of waiting for Winterfest to be over and done with, and uh, now they're not wasting any time because they've taken out a good chunk of the track in different sections already, uh, and, you know, the work will continue here. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we talked about how Firehawk might be saved, what are some possible options for it, and then we ended up by saying, However, those are all very unlikely. The most obvious and the most likely is that it is going to be scrapped, and uh, it seems like all signs are pointing to that's exactly what And possibly used for parts that, that we know Batwing is still closed at Six Flags America. Uh, yeah, we know the trains were uh, – the one aerial showed the trains kind of uh, stacked up over uh, – you know, behind uh, the ride. So I would imagine that uh, those are going to get shipped to Carowinds and they'll use what parts they can uh, for Nighthawk at Carowinds uh, just to keep and that running a little bit longer. Any parts that are similar, I know the trains were changed from Nighthawk to, uh, you know, the, the second generation ones, um, but I'm sure there's some commonality there. And anything and, else. And who's, to say, and who's to say they don't sell them outright to Six Flags too? That Maybe. You know, that, that those trains are completely interchangeable. If Six Flags needs parts, you know, hey, we can turn a buck here and sell a few parts over to Six Flags uh, and make a few bucks off of this thing that, you know, hey, it was their coaster to begin with, right? So, <laughs> um, so, uh, so you know, I think, I think the end of the story is, is that Firehawk is gone for good. Uh, but I think also part of the story is a lot of people have been watching webcams, have been taking pictures during Winterfest. And there are definite sections back there by Dinosaurs Alive, um, out there in the trees, that it looks like there is clearing going on. Uh, well, there's clearing time. everywhere at King's Island. Stop well, it. Well, this, this, this <laughs> looks like there's some convincing evidence that there's clearing. And, of course, that, this would all make sense. If you are indeed building a Giga Coaster uh, for 2020, you're going to have to get started, especially with a heavily wooded area like King's Island has. We saw this happen, uh, you know, with uh, not so much with Fury, because Fury started early, but you know Carowinds is on a pretty much more much more flatter ground, um, you know a lot more open than uh, Kings Island is. Kings Island is very woody, very hilly, uh, you know very uh, big differences in terrain elevations and uh, a lot of environmental stuff that has to go on. And like we saw with those documents over the summer, that they said this was going to be a two year project, so yeah. everything is still lining up. Uh, with the timeline, with the type of work being done, with what we already know, everything's still lining up for that big B&M roller coaster uh, to come in that will possibly be a giga for Kings Island. So, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, as always, we will keep you updated on what is going on there at Kings Island and all the greatest stuff. But uh, Firehawk, sayonara, friends. So long. Yes, that's, that's, that's it for Firehawk. <laughs> right on, right, Warriors. See you guys. Thanks.